On today's menu, an extraordinary recipe you'll definitely be in a hurry to make. An incredibly hearty tofu masala. One red onion, finely chopped. One to two pieces of garlic, grated. Grate one small piece of ginger. One long green chili pepper, finely chopped. Peel five shallots and chop them in half. Pat dry about 350 grams of extra firm tofu with a paper towel. Slice the tofu into bite-sized pieces. Two Roma tomatoes, diced. These are amazing cardamom pods. They're incredibly aromatic. Now it's completely up to you if you want to leave the pods whole or just use the seeds. You can use the butt of the knife to open the pods to extract the seeds. Saute pan, medium heat, about a tablespoon of avocado oil, tofu, Sear the tofu for four to five minutes. Don't worry about the tofu bits getting stuck to the pan as it will get deglazed. Shallots. Saute for about three to four minutes. Set aside the tofu and shallots. Man, that looks delicious enough to eat right now. But by the way, if you've been enjoying the cooking show here on YouTube, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of the brand new third cookbook simply titled Young Man Cooking. This cookbook is the third installment in our cookbook collection that has most of your favorite recipes from the cooking show here on YouTube. To take a sneak peek inside the books or for more information, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now, let's get cooking. Saute pan back to medium heat. So on the channel here, I always say that this is not meant to be the only way of making this recipe. This is just simply one way. And of course, to make a young man cooking complete, we're gonna be using this delicious, spicy, smoky, really aromatic chili oil I made in the previous episode. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out. Make this really easily at home. Three tablespoons chili oil. Two teaspoons cumin seeds. One teaspoon coriander seeds. Three dried chili peppers. Seeds from four cardamom pods. Fry the spices for a couple of minutes. Red onions. Saute for three to four minutes. Garlic. 
garlic ginger and green chili. Saute for another couple of minutes. One teaspoon sweet paprika. One teaspoon smoked paprika. Half teaspoon cayenne pepper. Half teaspoon turmeric. Half teaspoon salt. Two teaspoons garam masala. Saute for a couple of minutes. You can also use two teaspoons of Kashmiri chili powder in lieu of the paprika. Quarter cup water. Give the pan a good stir and cook for a couple of minutes. Roma tomatoes. Stir the pan and cook for three to four minutes. Half a cup tomato puree. Stir and cook for a couple of minutes. Have a little patience and you'll start to see a beautiful separation in the oils. Add back in the tofu and shallots. Give the pan a good stir. Third cup, water. Stir. Cover and cook just under medium for about 10 minutes. Quarter cup coconut cream. Plate. Garnish with some fresh cilantro. And a drizzle more of coconut cream. You can now enjoy this spectacular dish with absolute confidence. This is extra firm tofu. Now, it's important to note that every brand will have almost its own definition of what extra firm or medium firm to them is, so it's a little bit subjective. Now, this extra firm tofu I get is actually very extra firm, has very little moisture in it, and when you press on it, it really just kind of bounces back. It literally will not fall apart unless you intentionally rip it apart. And because we're making a patty for the burger, a really extra firm piece of tofu is going to be ideal. What I like to do as well is to sort of measure out the size of the patty. So this case, this block of tofu is about 350 grams. Looks like it's pretty perfect, just about halfway through. Slice the tofu into about one inch thick patties. This block of tofu will be good for four burgers, but today's episode, we're just gonna make the one. About 40 grams of red cabbage, finely chopped. The thing about slicing things really wafer thin is actually using your three fingers here. The back of your middle finger will be against the knife here and will literally guide that knife so you know exactly where that knife is. And really it's not about speed. Every time you're able to bring the knife out to cook is an opportunity for you to practice. And of course, remember to tuck in your thumb so literally nothing is in the line of sight of the knife. And again, it's not about speed. It will actually take a lot more of your time if you end up cutting your finger just because you want to chop faster and you have to get a Band-Aid or it just becomes a lot more annoying. About 20 grams of carrot, finely chopped into thin matchsticks. sticks. 
Chop half an apple into thin matchsticks. Man, that is thin. That is just awesome. You know that saying where no one can do push-ups for you? Well, recipes don't make themselves. So definitely have a healthy sense of pride. Chop half a stick, green onion. Place the slaw veggies into a bowl. This is a chickpea mayonnaise I made in the previous episode, and boy, is this ever amazing and thick. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can make this really easily at home as well. Literally only needs a few ingredients. Two generous tablespoons, chickpea mayo. Pinch of salt. About a tablespoon, sriracha. This looks like a delicious side salad by itself, but man, this is going to be amazing in the burger. Mix. Set the slaw aside. Half cup flour. One and a half tablespoon soy sauce. Splash of water. Whisk the flour until it becomes a fairly thick consistency. Pour a half cup of panko into another bowl. Coat the tofu in the sticky flour mixture. Transfer the tofu to the panko and coat. Slice the burger bun in half. Frying pan. Medium heat. Toast the buns for about a minute on each side. When the buns are toasted, transfer to a cooling rack. This will ensure that the buns will stay nice and crispy. One cup of avocado oil into the frying pan. Medium heat. Stick in a bamboo chopstick. If you see some fast moving bubbles, it's ready. Carefully place in the breaded tofu. Fry the tofu for two to three minutes on each side. Let the tofu rest on a paper towel. Assemble your burger by adding some leafy greens, tofu katsu, and a generous scoop of the delicious slaw. Sprinkle with sesame seeds and serve. You can now crunch into this delicious burger with absolute confidence. In this episode, I'm using about 40 grams guajillo chili. These will add a delicious robustness, a little bit of heat and smokiness. I'll also be using two different types of chipotle and about six dried red Thai chilies for that extra punch of spiciness. Non-stick pan, medium heat, place in the dried peppers and spread them out. Let the peppers cook for a couple of minutes. 
Flip the peppers and let it cook for another minute. Set aside. Pat dry 350 grams of extra firm tofu and place in a bowl. Use a fork to mash the tofu into a crumble. Pan back on medium heat. One tablespoon avocado oil. Tofu. Saute for four to five minutes. One and a half tablespoons soy sauce. One and a half tablespoons dark soy sauce. Saute for another three to four minutes. Set aside the tofu crumble. When the peppers are cool, remove the stems and seeds. Man, that smells incredible. So smoky. Now you can save those seeds to sprinkle on your next pizza. Blender. Peppers. Now this may seem totally bonkers, but we're going to add a dry shiitake mushroom in there. It's going to add an explosion of umami. Blend on high until powdered. Alternatively, you can use a spice grinder. Store the chili powder in a jar and enjoy for up to five to six months. Two red onions, finely chopped. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Rinse and drain one cup of brown lentils and set it aside. Stock pot or saute pan, medium heat. Of course, this would not be young men cooking complete without the use of some delicious chili oil. This is incredibly smoky, not too spicy. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out. Make this really easily from a previous episode. Two tablespoons chili oil. Red onions. Saute for four to five minutes. Garlic. Saute for one to two minutes. Half teaspoon cumin. One teaspoon sweet paprika. Half teaspoon cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon oregano, generous pinch of salt, generous tablespoon of the freshly made chili powder. Saute for one to two minutes. Create a well in the middle of the pan. 
2 tablespoons tomato paste. Saute the paste for about a minute. One cup red wine. Deglaze and cook for three to four minutes. The red wine will add body and amazing color to the chili. Alternatively, you can also use veggie stock. Brown lentils. Crumbled tofu. Give the pan a good stir. One cup vegetable stock. Eight hundred ml can tomato puree. Give the pan a good stir and bring to a boil. Be sure to stir up any bits stuck to the bottom of the pan. Add in an optional piece of dark chocolate. In this episode, I'm using about five grams cacao paste, one and a half tablespoons maple syrup. Give the pan a good stir to melt the chocolate. When the chili comes to a boil, turn the heat to medium low, then cover and cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. Plate generously. Squeeze of fresh lime juice. Few slices of avocado. Freshly chopped cilantro. You can now enjoy this deliciously hearty chili with absolute confidence. Man, oh man, this looks so incredibly delicious. That is so incredibly hearty. That is incredible. Just at first glance, this dish looks so incredibly meaty, so beautifully, almost like crimson. And let me tell you, that is really substantial and packed with flavor. You get that amazing kind of crumble tofu and that texture from it, as well as that little bit of bites from the brown lentils. The garlic and onions literally just melt into this chili. The red wine adds a little bit of that acidity, that sweetness, also adds a lot of body to the base of this chili. You get the saltiness and the umami from the soy sauce, the dark soy sauce. You get that sweetness from the maple syrup and then a little bit of that kind of chocolatey richness from that delicious chocolate that just melts into this chili. Also adds a slight kind of bitterness as well. And of course, from that chili powder that we made from scratch, it really adds this whole new level of warmth and a little bit of heat, but also has this really nice, intense, smoky flavor. And you balance that out with the delicious butteriness of that avocado and also adds that cooling texture and almost kind of mellow flavor. The fresh cilantro adds that incredible aromatic lift. That chili oil that we use to saute the onions just gets absorbed into the onions and then melts into this delicious chili. That also adds that really aromatic smokiness. I mean, you really do get all those delicious flavors and textures in every single bite. And it's such a delight to enjoy something like this with some delicious, crunchy tortilla chips. This really checks all the boxes, has that salty, that tangy, the sweetness from the maple syrup and the tomatoes, a little bit of heat and yet not too spicy, but incredibly smoky. Rich, delicious, earthy flavors, so easy to put together, definitely one of those recipes that is just exciting to cook at home.
That is really just extraordinary. This recipe, I would say, makes about three to four generous portions, but of course you can multiply it and make more if you like. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out the Ramen Cookbook, the Cook with Confidence Cookbook, the Young Men Cooking Merch, as well as our Plant-Based Sushi Masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check all those things out. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.